Alright then ladies and gentlemen, we are back for the second episode of Game Dev Tycoon and we have a new platform TES by an inventor has been released. I believe that was already said in the last thing, but um, what was I going to do? Right, I can now create an engine which is good, but I think I'm going to want some money first. Um, and I'm actually going to... no I'm not. I'm going to develop one more game using... actually no, let's just go for my engine. So we're going to want all of these. Definitely. It's going to cost a lot of money, but we'll call it the uh, Swan Engine V1. I think it is responsible. We'll create the engine, and I'm just going to put my phone on silent while I think about it. You can see in the middle of the screen is the, uh, the remaining, that's how long it's going to take to obviously do. And hopefully we can get it done relatively quick, which we are, because my guy is at decent speed. I've just had <laughs> a little bit of a spaz there. On my PC. I'm uploading another episode actually now as we speak. Come on, he's on break, that's why he's scratching his head. Normally they drink coffee, but I don't think he does. Or he is at the minute. My guy doesn't drink coffee. No, he does. Alright then, so it's now complete. So we're gonna uh we're gonna develop a game on the on the engine. So for platform, I'm not gonna bother with a license cost for that. And I'm going to develop it for the PC again. And the topic We'll do another f aeroplane simulator. Uh, for the PC, I've already said that. And the Swan Engine, make sure to name it and I'll call it Valkyrie Sim. I, I don't know, Valkyrie Sim is something to do with planes and stuff. Reminds me of German, actually. But 2D Graphics V2. So we're going to have some next gen graphics <laughs> for like the 80s. Okay. Story and quests don't mean jack shit, I don't believe. Ah. Uh, I want to say gameplay engine. I don't know if that's the right way around. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this. Um. So we'll just let that rock on through, and I'm thinking um, about how quick I can expand because once I get to a million, that's when you expand into your new office. AI is very important, dialogues don't matter, level design can stay about that. So that's good. Hopefully we can get some 7s and 8s on this, that would be really, really helpful. I'll be perfectly honest. But you never really know with these things. Okay, let's have a think. World design, you can see that minus actually, like I'll hover over the mask. See this minus, that means that it isn't that important. Um, so I can minus it from where it is because the last time I had it here and they said no, it's not important for this sort of game. Graphic will go with again, and sound will go with a little bit more. And hopefully, because you sort of learn from your mistakes in this game, I can make a hit game. Um, I'm actually in the red now. My bank will bail me out to a certain extent, but I've got to be careful. I need this game to make money. So, new record on both of those, that's good. And then everything's leveling up, that's beautiful. I'm leveling up as well, which is good. Game tutorials and mono sound. Kind of thinking I should have waited for my engine now, but I, I don't know. So first reviews, what we got? It's looking okay, seven. Could do with like an eight or something. Eight, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get another eight. Let's get some more eights across the board. Or not. Screw you, game hero. <laughs> all games are usually strict. Oh no, they're alright. Okay. So um, we'll generate a game report on that and we'll wait for the money to come piling in for a minute. And we'll see what we can do. <sighs> okay, so we've got a lot of cash now, that's good, it's sold a lot of games, that's, that's what I like to see. So we're very much in the green again. Story and quest seems to be not very important, okay. The surprise hit, alright that's good, that's, that's a good sign. So research, we're going to look straight into mono sound, because sounds, it is fairly important, if you've got terrible sound in a game it's going to break away from it quite a bit. So we'll research that. Ugh. Okay. We've successfully researched mono sound. I've got a lot of hiccups now. This always happens in recording. Um oh okay. It's okay. Not really interested in stuff on Inventor. Let's do a bit of contract work, I'll show you what that is. Is there anything easy that that should be able to do on my own? So this is what contract work is, you have to fill in certain things, logo animation, they'll give you money and research points that you get as you go along. That's the main reason people use them. 
for research points. Um, Alright then. Valkyrie Sim is now off the market. It sold 27,507 units, generating 192,578 in sales. Beautiful. Thank you for taking care. Okay, right. Um, usually I have some new contracts every six months. Wonderful. Uh, research, game tutorials. You do want to do all your research straight away, especially now because later on you can train your staff and yourself to get better speed and design and technology and things as such. So you obviously want to make sure that you can get as much research done now as possible so then you can sort of spend your points later on training and more important things. Um, I'm not going to create another engine. I'm just going to see. Okay, so I can add those in. It's pointless doing it already. So we'll develop a new game. Um, and actually, wait. Before I do that, I'm going to research a new topic because I could really do with... Martial arts, yeah, let's do like an action martial arts. It's, that could be quite entertaining, I mean, to play and be an experience. I'm just gonna have a sip of my drink while I wait. Ah, oh, much better. Right, you have successfully researched a new topic, martial arts. Beautiful. Uh, um, Alright then, let's develop a new game to do with martial arts. That Action, definitely. Um, Seeing as that's going with... The thing is, I know the G64 sort of... I know my gaming history, so it, it fades out and it goes off the market. And I believe it just does nothing. So I don't know whether to make the most of it while it has the market share. Or just go with... No, we'll just go with the good old PC. Um, put it on the Swan Engine V1 and we'll call it... Um, Blade... Um, this is the hardest part. It's freaking name in the game. Whoa, Blade. I I don't know. I'll <laughs> just name it something like that. All right. 2D graphics V2. Perfect. And uh, blah, blah, blah. okay. This is what I got to think about. I'd say the engine's got to be up. Gameplay down. I I'll put both of this in. I wouldn't think story and quest can be that important in an action about martial arts, but as I said, it's my opinion, and my opinion doesn't always count for anything in these freaking games. So, we'll have a look. Um, dialogues can be down, look, it's already told me that. Artificial intelligence, level design can be up, AIs can be down. Some platforms become more popular, but yeah, there's more and more developers. Alright, so now I can um, do target audience, which I will research because that is really important, actually. Target audience is stuff like you can make it a mature game, so it's for like 18 plus and things like that. Ah, uh, right. I don't know why, but I'm gonna pump the sound up a lot and the graphics down, and the world design can be really low. I've got a feeling this game's gonna flop, and I'm only on 20, just about 27k. So uh, I've got a really bad feeling about this, but the Venom, that's Sega, by the way, I believe. If it's, if it's the Dreamcast and stuff like that comes out, then yeah, it's uh, Sega. Just dying out those bugs. Sorry about that, I turned away. My phone decided to go off. Luckily, I put it on silent this time. I preemptively uh, proed it out. Okay, so we've got no bugs. Let's, um, let's give this a finish. Oh, I thought it was... Sometimes a bug appears, like, right at the end, and if you click finish, you can't do anything about it. New record, beautiful. Um, 2D Graphics V2 is leveled up, so I think I might be able to get 2D Graphics V3 if I research. Nope, not quite. Let's, let's research target audience though, that is really important. I just realised I'm in the minus, and I can overdrop to 50k. Later on you can overdrop to like 50, uh, like 2 million, but I've got a horrible feeling this game did terrible. Although, 7, not bad. Showing a lot of 10s, but it's just teasing me there, I think. 7, okay, this is good, this is a lot better. I was thinking like 4s and 5s, so... Yes, okay, alright, this is really good. This is much, much better than I expected. Nine, Jesus tits, alright, beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to make a... I'm going to try and research in a minute. Uh, I'm not going to make a, a thing for that because I did that last time and it was awful. So I'm going to keep away from um, Venna. Because, yeah, so I'm making a lot, a lot of money off this. This is good. This is brilliant, okay. Um, oh, yes, this is... 
or gas make. <laughs> okay, right, so we're making a shit ton of money. Uh, generate a game report. That's a good man. Um, and hopefully, we can do well. Getting some good old research points in there, which is always helpful. I might research one more new topic. Martial arts and accent, world design not very important. Action PC, everyone PC, level design, level design. Seems to be quite important. Okay. I can't remember how much I put in level design. Let's uh, mm, research a new topic. Okay, that's not actually because none of those really interest me, except for mystery, but. Okay. Right, so. Um, I can't do sequels yet, I have to wait till later. So I could do with. Okay, I know it hasn't been that long since I created the last one. But I'm going to create a new engine. And it's way probably too early to do this. But. I want to do it because. Okay. Oh, beautiful. The reason I want to do it is I want to put a lot of money into a game now. A simulation. And I'm going to attempt to make a lot of money off it, like a million. I'm going to attempt to get into the new office by the end of this episode. I don't know how long I've been recording. I need to set a timer or something. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. The recently released gaming console must have been by Venna has stirred up the market worldwide. All right. Um, still 30 left. Sorry, I'm just, while well, we're doing this, 2018, 16, 14, oh, we're getting a lot of research points, which is always good. Alright, engine is complete, beautiful. Let's get a game out right away. Actually, wait, no, we'll do a bit of contract work first, because I need some money. Okay, that one we might just be able to do. I, I can't remember how quick one guy works. All right, let's get this going. Okay, we would hire again, we'll transfer 16K. Um, I need a bit more, really. Let's attempt to do, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. I shouldn't have took this one. No, why are you scratching your head? He's gone on break for like the whole time. What a pain, I'm, I've lost money. Um, okay, we're gonna have to go overdrawn on this. To develop my new game. Um, everyone, airplane, simulation, let's just call it flight sim, I know it's not a sequel because you can't technically make sequels, but we'll call it flight sim 2 anyway, um, put it on the PC, and the small engine v2, uh, it's going to put me in the black, but I need it, story and quest isn't important, I believe gameplay is a lot more important than engine. Actually, I don't know if it is. No, it isn't, I don't think. Oh, shh. That's why it left it there. I don't know. See, it's losing ma uh, market. I thought it would be. Oh, for God's sake. I can only go into 50. AI needs to be up. Level design down. I don't have time for this. Oh god, I'm gonna need the bank to bail me out and I'll have to pay some more money, but this game has to be a hit. This game has to be a hit. Let's do mono sound. I know it's costing more money and I'm over 50 grand overdrawn, but we'll give you 90,000, but I have to pay him twi almost twice as much. But yeah, that's worth it. They're bailing me out. Let's get rid of the bugs, and if we can get to like a million, that isn't so bad. Because in a year's time, yeah. By basically year five. New record on everything. Okay. Please, God, game, do well. Can't generate a game report just yet. Oh, it's the Game Boy, look, the Gameling. I actually remember the Game Boy. I don't think I played it when it was new, but I have a lot of older brothers, so I was always playing those. Oh, this is looking good. That's flashing tens quite a bit. Nine, this is this is exactly what I needed. Nines all round and stuff really. Eight, okay, I could do with another nine or something like that, or maybe even a ten would be nice, but no. Seven. 
What a dick. And eight, okay. All right, so that's not bad. That isn't bad at all. I mean, if we look at the sales, the units are going up quite considerably. Um, level design seems to be quite important. I can't make another game straight like that as well, because they get annoyed if you develop two games like that that are the same. So I'll tell you what we will do right now while we're still earning money. We'll develop a new game instantly. And after this game has just been released, we will end the episode. But... We're going to do a mature martial arts action on the PC. I favour PC quite a lot, if you didn't know. On the Swan Engine V2, and we'll call it Woe Blade 2. And then, we'll go next. Start. That's good. That's what I'd like to see. We've almost got a thousand fans as well. You get to go to uh, G3, which is like E3, but obviously... Engine up, gameplay down, story and quest literally couldn't matter less, I don't think, for an action. Because it would be like a Tekken or something. Level design needs to be up, AI, down, and then like that. See, that's what I've learned. That's what it's like. I like that it does that. Because it makes life quite a considerable amount easier for you. World design doesn't need to be that important. Sound I do want to be important, and graphics can stay about mid. Um, Alright, so I want to give an interview. Hopefully, uh, I can hide... Oh, okay. Alright, so he, he interviewed me, but I don't think I said anything this time. You normally get choices where you can sort of like hype your game or be a bit modest. We think players are looking for more... Co yeah, we are. We are looking for more mature content. Um, a lot of gamers like that. Got a bit of hype now, look, from the media. Because that's what happens when you do marketing and things later on. And okay, that's three hundred thirty-five thousand. That's good. All right. So, oh, we're already caught the way into that year. Okay, let's release this game. I'm really hoping it does well, but I've got a feeling it's gonna flop. Oh god, it isn't good. They don't like it. They don't like it. Oh dear. I've got to make a hit game. Fun at stages. This isn't good. Um, generate me a game report, please, big boy. Um, I'm going to go with another simulator towards the end of this year, if that makes sense. And I'll see what everyone thinks about this. And just as I'm about to develop the new game, I'll end the episode. There we go. I can research marketing now, so we'll do that. I'm not going to bother researching casual games because that doesn't actually have any relevance to me. Oh, this game still made quite a bit, to be fair, even though it's been pretty terrible. So that means I can now market my games. Right. So anyway, we'll wait until Woeblade 2 has been taken off the market and then we'll call it a day there. 359.5k. We're slowly getting there. We're slowly getting there. Okay, right, it's been off the market, generating 165,000. Alright, so that's the end of another episode. Obviously, like, subscribe, comment, and tell me what you think of it. I'll see you all in a future video. I have been George. Thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.